Hi, John here. Um, today I'm, I'm just waiting a call on uh, to Poroho Ruka and um, uh, I'll be going up to uh, Pahia, Waitangi, on the Manabas and uh, someone will pick me up and take me across to uh, uh, Kaikahui uh, to spend the next few days um, between the 6th, a meeting on the 6th there with the Whakameninga and the Taumata Kaumatu and the uh, Hokianga and the Upper North Regions. This is for the Paramount Chiefs and also the administration uh, are going together there as uh, separate from the steering committee but in the same direction the steering committee and the uh, High Court uh, judge, Federal uh, State Judge in America, uh, Naidu, uh, Navin Naidu. Uh, and the group from Tainui and Hauraki are uh, dealing with the Crown Corporations on the Queen's uh, side of the contracts of uh, New South Wales and New Zealand government. Uh, so that's their department and their authority to deal with that under the 1835 Declaration of Independence and Treaty of Waitangi. So that's that organisation that are uh, leaning towards uh, uh, the Parliament uh, going to sleep or shutting down in the recess of the elections and they are dealing with that. That's their issues but on the other side of the 1834 uh, Declaration of War flag which is the flag on our King uh, side, King William IV, King William III and St. Patrick's Church Order and St. Mary's Church Order and also the Paramount Chiefs uh, uh, partnership with the uh, British Magistrate Court, the Westminster Magistrate Court, and the Edinburgh Magistrate Court, and the two chiefs, uh, Te Rau Waikato, Whare Herehere Manukau, and Hongihika, and the um, um, contract, that uh, commercial private contract um, of Admiralty that I'm coming up to uh, explain that to the Te Mata of uh, the Whakamininga, and also uh, the meeting on the Titi Marae Native Magistrate Grand Jury Trial Court uh, um, and to uh, link up our British partners, the uh, British Royal Navy, uh, um, uh, First Lord of the Sea, um, Sir Philip Jones, uh, our legal and lawful and legitimate partnership in commercial trading bank flag jurisdiction of Admiralty Court Martial Law. That's what we are enforcing, enforcing the law with the uh, head of the Paramount Chiefs, um, Bundy Waitai, and also the uh, uh, court judge, JP, um, 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 Manahi Parapara Mohini. Um, he's um, uh, the uh, connection to Britain on the contracts, legal contracts, and also uh, uh, Bundy is the um, land commissioner uh, of native lands um, under the uh, Maui uh, uh, Crown King William IV Trust um, Crown Land Patent Rights. That means he has the authority to enforce uh, the law over the lands after the uh, JP, Justice of Peace, uh, Peace uh, Courts, uh, Manahi, uh, and uh, myself um, conduct the legal process in the court. Uh, Bundy is responsible for policing and have our own Moai Crown, King William IV Trust, um, police force or peace force. We won't be using the word police. We'll be using peace or another, it'll be Moai Crown Police or something else uh, that they wish to desire to use uh, in the legal sense. Um, I must say before I forget that the uh, uh, steering committee of the uh, other organisation um, under NAIDU uh, and the uh, chiefs there uh, are uh, in their own uh, capacity. Uh, dealing with hapu issues with limited um, control from Britain through us. 
so they have a limitation act that allows them to do what they want with New Zealand land and the Paramount Chiefs on the other hand has the jurisdiction of Admiralty of the flag to go around the world and um, um, uh, on behalf of the natives here and people and ordinary people. We have the Maui Crown and the Paramount Chiefs uh, addressing and representing the peoples of New Zealand. That, that means not specifically targeted to only Maori. This, the steering committee and NAIDU, the, the American Federal Court Judge, High Court Judge, is dealing with Maori and Maori only. And that's not our issue. We are dealing with Maui, Crown, Maui, Native, and England for, for the people under the common law and commercial trading bank organisations. So that means they're not doing corporate. They're taking the corporate out and nulling it to go with something else that's, as far as I'm concerned, has no protection other than the paramount use of the protection of the British military and all the other countries that we go to contracted with the King and or myself, the surrogate King, talking for the King William IV and King William III and King William King King George the Third, the father of the King William the Fourth, King William the Third. King William the Third is the father of King William the Fourth and King George the Fourth and King Ernest Augustus the First. Those three kings, those four kings is our jurisdiction of these four points, four four points around the globe, north, east, south, west. Okay? That's our story. And the black around the little cross is the military to protect our business interests with Britain on a protectorate. Uh, so that's in place. That, that was there for a long time ago as a, um, an authority uh, of a, uh, another contract. Um, that's, there's a word for that. Um, um, and the Confederation of Chiefs are on the Queen side. They have to go and deal with their Queen side. But in the meantime we have a dual government running with Britain and the Paramount Chiefs over these lands as the commercial landowners. On the other hand, the Maori is not an invention of the Maori themselves. It is an invention of the Queen Elizabeth and Queen Victoria uh, and not King William IV. A confederation of 37 chiefs that they're going under, that jurisdiction of Vice Admiral is not exactly this flag. They cannot use the commercial part of this flag, but only as a symbol because they they legislated it out with the government of New Zealand, legislated themselves out of existence to use this flag for any legal reasons and purposes. In the, on, on the other hand, the 1834 back to 1820 of the two chiefs on the stamp, stamp that we have with King William IV is a separate contract with the King and the Paramount Chiefs. And the other contract with Maori, this is a Maui contract, the other contract is broken and is the fraudulent one. That's why we have them as 30% population of New Zealand is the steering committee and the documents they use are fraudulent. The Treaty, Treaty of Waitangi is a no end date contract. A contract, it's a commercial contract that they made all their money out of. It's not legal because it was legislated out and they're still using it, a, 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 a fraud document. That's why we are billing them with this 70% of the population of New Zealand. So I'm appealing to all your people in New Zealand that you can choose which side you want to be on after the 30th of September 2017, the law be laid down in Auckland as the main connection of a dual British and Maui Crown Paramount Chiefs government right across the world. And New Zealand is just one of the countries of the Commonwealth of the world and all its allies and countries that signed the agreements, the treaties, that the world international treaties uh, and, and with the parents
paramount chiefs, not the confederation of chiefs, the paramount chiefs. Okay, so the, the, that's the difference, and I'm, I'm be speaking about that to define who is who. And I put it straight to all Maoris that you pick one type, the king and the Maui, or the queen and the Maori. Yeah? So, any person in the world who is here, living, legally, can join the Maui straight out. Pay your £25 registration fee, which becomes a one-off share in all that we claim back from the 30% debtors. The creditor, 70% king, paramount chiefs, 70% debtors, 30% queen, and Maori. Those are the two titles, I'm telling you. You're one or the other after the 30th and when the parliament is shut for elections, that's when these 30% people, the steering committee and Naidu, is going to attempt to run the government out of office so that they can't open it. These, they, they legally have the right to do what they want. There's none, we're, we're not too bothered because there's natives in there. Th those natives are Maori. We're going to see how well the Maoris do with a American native Indian High Court judge in the federal state High Court judge to look after them while I look after these paramount chiefs out of my head to tell them what to do in our court in our own writing and unique style of patents straight in the stamp the stamp that we have here, I'll just Here. Right, that's our legal identity. The Paramount says we've already stamped the documents when they had a meeting up north with the steering committee and the uh, this native uh, High Court judge. He knows what he's doing. He really knows what he's what he's, what he's doing and I have no um, hesitation but to let them go ahead and see if that works. We're here with this to overshadow what they do with this jurisdiction and authority, legal authority. They're not operating legal in there, they are taking the government out and putting their own tikanga law, native law, and however they want to choose to see if that works. And I'm just telling you, it works. If they get all their documents in order, they have to dismantle that side of the crown. But in the meantime, we have a king's crown. That's the queen's crown. They're demolishing and making it quicker for us to get into the king's realms. In, they can't get rid of this flag in 1834. They can get rid of 1835. They demolished it. Fine. We carry on with the same flag in this jurisdiction. And they'll be fine. They can run whatever they wish to do. But I'm going to speak at Waitangi on the uh, uh, 9th and 10th uh, to explain this again. Uh, finally, before we come to Auckland and take out Cook Street. The land titles, we will take them straight from the British, still have control over these lands. The uh, steering committee cannot get rid of the British side of this contract. It's none of their business. It's private. Private contract. Can't touch the contract. They can demolish the uh, government and the 1835 out of the flag and leave the flag by itself. Sure, that's fine. Okay, so I'm just telling you. Uh, after a consideration of thoughts that, um, as far as I'm concerned, the uh, steering committee and the uh, way they're uh, conducting themselves, I know it back to front. And I have no hesitation but to let them do what they want to do because it's none of our business either. That, that's their contract to say what they want, to do what they want, and legally do what they want, or whatever, to 
demolish that threat. It is a third party to us. They are operating third party to us. The only thing I must say, legally speaking, as British, because the British started all this off on these lands and everyone else's lands in the world with the same native titles. This was a blueprint here for all the other native titles. So they do not have authority of the Paramount Chiefs to step into this arena globally. They have no rights to go globally because their jurisdiction was demolished. Uh, that's why the um, uh, Confederation, uh, Confederation of the United Tribes cannot legally go anywhere. They can't go to the United Nations, they can't go to Westminster because there's nothing Maori in it. Maori was invented in 1945, not 1840. If you look at the original documents I got here from Britain, it doesn't say the word Maori all the way through from 1835 or 1834 to 1945. There is no word Maori or Iwi in the British titles over these lands and the Pacific Islands. And that's the proof of claim and citation that I use, fact, on this video to challenge anybody what I say is the truth and only about the truth, so help me God. We have deeds of truth, my word against yours. And if you want to test it, you'll have to make a video on YouTube and make statements because every time someone makes a statement and it's wrong, it's a trillion pound on your head bounty. There's already bounty riding on everyone's head with the exception of special relationship with Maori to get their legal side sorted or demolished or extinguished. The other threat, which is the government of Wellington and John Key and Bill English, that's their department. They give us the bill and we write the power note. No Maori can legally write power notes or purport or claim to be a crown because crown is not in their language and tikanga Maori does not apply in this court. The magistrate court, the native magistrate, grand jury trial magistrate court has no Maori in it. Okay, it's original native surname, not made up surnames in the Maori side with bodgy names. We don't have that. We can distinguish them and write them out. That's why I don't choose bodgy names, except only with the exception of 90-year-old Sean Clark or Hiruini Clarker. He's, he signs his name as Sean Clark on the legal documents because he knows. That's the British. He's the immigrant that came here from Britain, the partner to those two chiefs, Bundy, Waitai and um, uh, um, Mane, Mohi, Ma, Manahi Mohini Parapara and myself, John Wano, or Hoani Kahaki Wano. So there's Four of us Paramount Chiefs, our name Wano and M um, Parapara and Mohini and Manukau and uh, Waitai um, um, goes right back. It just That's the Paramount. A Paramount is carrying the same name of a native, not Bodgy names because it just lands up in the middle of the ocean somewhere and they can't prove where it came from. That's why they say the fish in the sea, um, one in the So. They just landed up on the shore and made the name up. So we don't make anything up. It's original. Okay? Original. That's what a native original. Not Maori. Native original or Maui original memorial to God. That's our law. El Maori is Maui, straight to God. That's why the Queen pitched them in 1848, 1868, and took them to London and hid them. That's our title. That's our native title. Okay? So, um, um, uh, I'm, I'm wanting to get uh, to uh, Tala, uh, wife, um, because she's in this with us uh, for the flag. For the flag. You can hear that Naidu said flags don't matter. I found it offensive. I, I found it re very offensive because I've been in over 20 years promoting this flag because that got them here and that allows them to be standing here talking. Otherwise, it can have him arrested and deported straight out if he plays up. I'm giving him a, a, a good go at it, at his intelligence, to teach these guys all what I already know, what he's, he says, 
it sounds like their words are copying out. The British are watching them, watching us, who plays around with those words and likeness to what they're doing. Okay, because I'm saying this. <coughs> Henry uh, Morgan from Tainui said to me, don't use any of their material for my ends. And I'm looking at it and I'm, I've written word for word what Nadu is saying and it filled up an exercise book right up. It filled up an exercise book, my, um, Jamie's exercise book right up. I kept up with them, writing everything because they wouldn't let me film. And that's my Marai. That, that's my Marai I've been going to all the time talking in little short bursts. And that's all I've got to talk for everything I do to Britain that got him here on this land. Everybody on this land and everybody on the other nations lands in the world came from this side of the flag. That's nothing to do with Maori, you see? That's why Maori can't get anywhere here, because the Crown owns the Maori. They're looking in the mirror, they're looking at themselves in the mirror, and saying Maori owns the land, Maori land, because, because the Crown made it up. They made it up. It's a fictitious humbug title. Radical, as radical as the people running in Parliament, with Winston Peters and all the rest of them, milking the place, milk, milking the place and saying, oh, it wasn't me, it was somebody else that did it for me, see? So the pasta buck, buck, pasta dachi from to the man next door, you see? Pasta dachi, and then that's that song. That's what they're doing, pasta dachi. Get her off my back, the monkey. They're the monkeys, right? They're the monkeys. And uh, uh, um, that's what Hedewini uh, Kraka said, or Shavu Kraka said, you're all monkeys. And they took offence to it, and he's right, they're all monkeys. Pass the Dutchie to the man next door, see? Take it off the back because it's tapu, it's, it's dangerous, right? In some ways, uh, Naidu couldn't come clean in exposing who he is and his name and having a photo, I wanted to have a photo with him, but I was banned from having a photo. Now that's offensive to the paramount chief and me the king's surrogate. I'm speaking for the king. He's speaking for the Maoris. And you ask yourself, who's Maori and where did they get the authority from? Where did Maori get the authority from? And where did he get his authority from? It all came from the king, not the queen. He's operating under the queen in America, owns America, and him, and his body. See? You see? Oh, here we go. Where is he? Hello, Willie. Oh, I got it. Oh, good, good. Thanks for that. Um, uh, uh, the 29th and 30th the tw of September. We, we had to do it before the elections. That, that's what I'm saying. The other uh, steering committee having their meeting on the 23rd. You see, they've jumped in ahead of us. So, 29th is a Friday. And the, you can have it, uh, I suppose, make arrangements to get there earlier. Um, but and and Saturday, uh, um, um, so that, that all that's going to do is connect us back to the the Auckland business that the Crown set up to Britain. That that's what that is, and we connect up the the Whakamininga to there to from the spiritual side up there to the business side in Auckland and straight to Britain. It goes straight through because they're waiting on in Britain for that. That that's the flag to make the flag legal. We're making it legal so the Whakamini can get funding straight off. It, it, it'll be funded straight off from there and I'll explain that on the 10th and 11th up there and back again on the Saturday uh, of the 30th. At, oh, in well, that, well, uh, you might be able to do a little, a little bit of on Wednesday or what? Yeah, um, well, yeah. We, we, we don't want uh, the crowd uh, the corridor on Wednesday. Yeah, no that's fine because I'm coming up there to the Hui there on the 6th and but I'm listening to what you fellows are saying, and I'm, I'm there for the, how the wakas are going to fit together, how the, the, the hapu is going to work in from that end to, to the Auckland end, and where, where, where the putea is. That's fine. That's no trouble, because you've got a brain in her head to do the administration of the funding that comes out of this lot in Auckland. I'm expecting the funding to come straight out after that, not long after that. I've got it all set up to go, and all all you do is come and own it. That that's that's what basically happens. Is you turn up and say, "Well, we're here. We're, we're ready." 
uh, and that's coming from up there with, with the Titi down to Auckland where all the Crown business is. That, that, that has to be done in that fashion to get the, the, the spoils of the land and the land back. And the other guys with the steering committee and everything, they'll do the, that side of the Queen side, we're doing the King side, okay? They, they, they can go ahead with that native, uh, native judge, Naidu, and do their, their, their thing, and we do the King thing on this side. To Britain. We have, they have a koha, okay? Yeah, we have a koha. We put a koha in. That's what I do. For the marae? Yeah. I always have a box with a slot in it and they just put it in the box in the front of me when, I, when, I, when I'm sitting there with you guys, with uh, Bundy and them. And, uh, and they just put the money in the box. You see? Huh? This is for Yeah, 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 yeah. They, that's how I did it there all the time. They'll know because when I was there with Moi Monica, I just had a box in front of me with a chairman and I said, when you come in, you put your, your koha in the box or put the food in the kitchen. And that's how I always did it. Well, I had a few hui there. It cost me nothing then because it was a, a donation and so I paid him out of that, you see, for the, for the marae. And they, then they started charging $100 for the marae after that and I don't know how much they charge now. Might be, might be. Yeah, well, we'll put, we'll put, we'll put in each, and and uh, I just uh, to not to offend people, I just say to them, you got a koha, put it in the box so that they can just drop it in a slot at the top, like a money box, and put it in like that, and with a note or something like that, we know where it come from, and that was the quickest way I could do it without anybody coming in and going through a lot of uh, thing, a sing, sing song and use the time up. You see, when they, when they do the, the wire touch and sense, it, it burns all the time out and by the time we got to the real meeting, then there's nothing much time left. Um, um, but we've got all night to talk, we've got all night to talk and, and all, all the next day, you see. But we do the business formalities and get that over, that's only going to take two hours, then the rest is all, all talk of what, what we're going to do from that point on. We settled the, what's happening up at Titi Marae, then bring the mana from there into Auckland, and then that goes to Britain. It's online. It, it's on. Have you seen uh, the judgment going? Oh, good, good. That's, uh, you see, I've won my case against the police and the, 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 the court, and so there's the Paramount Chiefs there, uh, and we need to do it again, and this time they can't stand in the way. The police can't stand in the way to take the land, and we need to take one piece of land and take the whole lot, one hit. And the other, the other guys with Naidu and that uh, uh, Hodaki and, and, and uh, Tainui are going to do the other thing, you see. So, so they'll, they'll come from that angle and we'll come from this angle and they're doing the same thing with the land. And you they're going down... Eh? You mean Coke? You mean Coke? No, no, um, um, uh, Hinare, Hinare uh, Morgan, he was driving the, the, that hui that uh, we went to on, on the upper Titi. So they're, they're taking the Queen's side and when the government's in recess uh, in the elections, they're going to go and serve them notice. They already said so with that native uh, American High Court judge and he's in the federal state. He's going to go and issue them notice to get, get rid of them, right? Uh, we were going to do that before, but this guy knows what to do. I, I've been through all that before with uh, Marpedia. And so they're, going to, they're just doing the Marpedia thing with the Treaty of Waitangi and the, and the uh, Declaration of Independence flag, right? They, they're doing that side while we're doing the British side. So we're going twofold and, and they know what we're doing and we know what they're doing. The Te Poroho will sort that out because he knows both sides. He's very clever and so that's why I want to spend a bit of time with Poroho and you fellas. And he already knows what we're going to do because he's going on both sides of the flag, 1834 and 1835. See? So it makes it makes sense that Ngāpuhi, uh, as the last claimant, rather than settle out with the Crown, we settle them out. That's what's happening. We're settling the Crown out our way, the Tikang way, and, 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 and this way through the King, rather than them, them, them uh, keep doing that to us all the time. Right? They're taking too much out of the land and leaving us with nothing. Now this time, it's our turn. The timing is right. And that Indian lawyer, uh, I mean the judge, he said it all. He, he, he's spot on. He, he, he knows we're the ones that are going to release all the native people in the world going through the same trouble. It's going to take...
Yeah. Yeah. That... Sixth. Huh? I'm going to be at. The elections is, um, um, I think, I think, oh, towards the end of this month, I think. It, only two weeks away. It's only two weeks away. Three weeks. Three weeks away, yeah. So we've got to do this before they, they have their elections, you see. We've we got to have the hui up, up in Te Puraho to explain and to, to talk about this, to talk about how we on the king's side and the Paramount chief side are going to handle it, while those other fellows, the Tainu and Hauragi, is going to go on the Queen side, and they're going to the government this week. They've, they've, they've got the mandate to go down to the, to the, to the government to serve them. They're going to serve uh, Sean Lice and, and uh, Bill English and, uh, and uh, um, the Speaker of the House and, and Queen Elizabeth. They're, they're, going to do, they're doing all the, all the hard work. We don't need to do that. They're doing that. And all we're doing is setting up... Uh, Hinare Morgan and uh, Kevin uh, Mabeth uh, and um, uh, the Indian uh, judge that who knows how the, the, the system works, the courts work. And so they're going to Parliament this week to take what we had at the meeting at Whiting. That's what that meeting was for. And so Puruho will explain that on the 6th, on Wednesday, at, at his, uh, the meeting that we're going to. He'll explain it. Uh, and explain which the both sides of the flag, the 1834 and the 1835. We're doing the 1834 side of the flag, contract with the king straight to England, and the these other the Tainui and Hauraki uh, are doing the other side of, of the 1835 Declaration of Independence to Australia, New South Wales, and New Zealand government in Wellington. So they've got to fix that lot while we fix England up to go and make them pay. Okay. So that's Yep, I, 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 I think it's going to happen sooner than expected, and and um, 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 we're going to talk about that at uh, Te Poroho will be talking about that. I don't have to say much, but I'll be talking about all of that on the 10th and 11th at Timorai, because Poroho set it up. He, he, <coughs> he set up for me to be there to be surrogate king to send me off to England with the Paramount Chiefs. And that's Manahi and uh, Manahi's the JP to, to do all the court hearings for, for this side. And uh, Bundy is, 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 is operating the uh, land side, and uh, Hiriwini is, is, is an immigrant with, with a British name Clark. Uh, so in Clark, he's, he's the partner to, to the live chiefs now. So there's three live chiefs, Paramounts. The Paramount is Clark, and, 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 uh, and his partner is, is uh, uh, Manahi and, uh, and Bundy. That's all you need to make the title work to Britain, you see? And so the, the British will make the government of Wellington pay up. <coughs> yep. <coughs> I'll have the budgets, and I'll have the budgets. We're going to talk about the budgets, where the money's going to go from what will you recover from one piece of land on Cook Street, and then the rest of the land after that. So there's no problem in sending a delegation there to represent to represent both sides. So I'm picking who's going to go, those four paramount chiefs, well, there's three of them, and me, that's, that's four, and the secretary that's uh, um, going to do all the books, <coughs> she'll be meeting with me when she, when I come back from north on the 12th, and, uh, and um, by then we know who each other is. I'm, I'm, I'm going to send you the, the, um, 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 the, the setup, I'm going to send you the setup so far uh, of the administration in Auckland, uh, to Britain and who's gone. Um, so King is out because he's gone with this other lot in uh, King uh, and and this fellow, this fellow Nadu and 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 uh, Tainui. He's, he's gone with the Tainuis and and the Hodakis, Okay, and so that's I've written them off the delegation going. So at this stage, there's only me, uh, um, Manahi, um, 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 what's his name, uh, Hiruini and uh, Bundy on the legal documents to go to Britain, and this uh, uh, secretary, who's I just well, met. Well, I, I would have been there, but I was late for that weird wedding, eh? That's all right. That's all right. We know, we, we know you're, you're at the Waipuna Marae that kicked this thing off from the hooky underside of this British title. So, so I, I know who's who, so you, you're, you're, as far as I'm concerned, you're part of this, this uh, group of the British side uh, of this flag, okay? 
I, I know you're looking after all things there and on the church side as well, um, which, which all goes together. <coughs> See, on the other side, they're only dealing with Maori. On this side, we're dealing with everybody. No, we're not targeting Maori because we, we, they're talking for Maori, we're talking for the Maui and the, 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 the king. <coughs> and I've split it out that 70% of the population of New Zealand is on the king's side and 30% on the queen's side. You need one or the other. <coughs> one or the other. You can jump from one to the other. And the creditor with no debts is on the king's side and the, all the debts are on the queen's side on the other side. The king's side creditor, queen's side debtor uh, 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 on the Maori side. Okay? That's just to equal the books, to balance the books. And, and, and so that's why these other guys, the steering committee and, and Henry Morgan and them from Tainui, the Tainui lot, is going to go and issue notice to the government <coughs> to clear themselves from the debt, right? You see? To so clear themselves from the debt and put the debt back on them and then that clears them to come on our side when they got rid of that side of the flag. Because John Key came here and got knighted with the eight point star on our flag to claim the flag off us, you see, before we... And the, and, and, and get away with it. They've been, they've been hooking the money out of their flag all these years. Using their flag on, on the Maori Iwi side in, in the Waitangi Marae Magistrate Court with the ship on the, on the ground there. They're using our ship for their money for themselves, you see? And so we, we're going to build them, then boot them, see? So we've got to get our hui in to... I've already got the bills set up in London to build them <coughs> before these <coughs> other fellows have their hui on the 23rd. See, they're coming, eh? The, the steering committee and the tainu and the hauraki. They had their meeting on the 23rd, ahead of me and our meeting on the 29th. So that they get the claim to the land, they won't work. But it's okay, they, they're good triers. But the British know who's who. They know we've got the title in the Paramount Chiefs, right? They know, they know we have the King's title and the King's flag. They're playing around with the flag on the 1835 side. For, 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 for the government in Wellington. You see? <clears throat> so that's how it works. Hey, have you got Carla's uh, mobile number? I want, to, I want to stay at her place for the night and come over with her from Paihia. I, I'm going up. I go, she's, she's been talking to me. She's with us on the Paramount side with, with the flag. That, that, native, that native High Court judge said, you don't need flags. So he offended us by saying, you don't need flags. You see? Have you got her mobile phone number so I can ring her that I'm coming and I'll stay over there? And I'm waiting for Poroho to ring me to stay at, uh, at his place. I've got to ask and, and, um, and see if I can stay there and spend my time with him going over things. The, the, the time with them is, is, is going to be beneficial to tie up any loose ends. And, and so if you give me her number and I'll call her so that I can stay at her place because the bus, I'm going up to the bus in the morning, tomorrow morning, I'll pay for it. So I'll get there and then I've got nowhere to stay. Where you say, Porahos? I'm going there but I've got to get from Pahia to Porahos, up, up in Hokianga. So there's no buses going there when, when the bus turns up, and, and um, the mana bus turns up and... Um, uh, what time is the bus arriving? It's arriving at uh, 12 o'clock, midday. Uh -huh. Yeah, I, I leave at 7.30 in the morning and it gets there at 12 o'clock, midday, <coughs> tomorrow. And then I've got to get a ride to Puroho from there. I'll be right if I've got a ride. I, I can drop off at Kawakawa. You see? On the bus, I tell the bus driver, stop over there on the side of the road and drop me off. But n as long as there's someone to pick me up, because if I get to Pahi, at least I've got Carlos' place to stay, or somewhere to stay. <coughs> I'm just going to knock on somebody's door and stay there. I know enough people that I can go in. I'll, I'll, I'll ring uh, Patrick, Patrick Bernay, right? Yeah, to someone to pick me up. Of course, I've got my computer, I've got my desktop, I've got all my, my books of heavy. I'm bringing them all up. I'll, I'll, I'll ring up for her now. Yeah, yeah. For, for you to, yeah. to stay tonight? Yeah, 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 yeah. And I'll stay there. I'm going to, eh? For a place for you to stay tomorrow. Yeah, so, well, I need to stay there. I'm not coming back to Auckland because I, I don't want to spend my money. I want to stay there. From, from the 6th to the 10th and go back to Waitangi, Titi Marae, where our hui is going to be on the 10th and 11th. So you got one of those number? Uh, I got it somewhere, but give it to me anyway. I'll give you a port of in Carla. Okay. I'll give you a port of hose. Yeah. Make him aware that you will be getting off the bus. I'll get, I'll give you a Patrick first if you can see you. 
Right? Yeah, someone to pick me up at at at, at Pahia. Yeah, at the bus stop. Okay, thanks. <coughs> 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 Well, that's Willie. You see, we're starting to get organised, but it, I got no wheels, so my car's pakaru broken. It's in Jamie's place in Fakatani. The hose blew off the back of the motor. I fixed, put a new hose on in the front water hose, and that was right. And then another hose went. You see, it's an old car. When one hose goes, the other one's going to go sooner or later. So the second hose went, and so I, I patched it up put some tape around it and it lasted a while but then it broke when we were, me and Jamie went down and busted it and cut it off and pushed it on so it make a bit more life out of it <coughs> because it's rotten and then that one went <coughs> and I fixed it up again twice on the side of the road and then filled it up with water, plenty of water and it got to Fakatani just before we got there another hose blew but this time it was right in the back of my head, you see so I put it up in the rocks, had a look Pull a few things off, and every time I pull something off, it broke. You know, the little hoses around the engine up the top. Then pull it off, and bang, broke. It's hard, brittle, and old. And I thought, ah, oh, no, this is not going to work. And so I come back, had a look at the videos of uh, how to fix it. See, so it saved me time. I got to go underneath and pull the exhaust off and all those sort of things. Then fix it from underneath. So I said, oh, I better get back to Auckland because I've got to buy all the parts. All the parts are worth more than the car. So, beautiful car, the Saab, uh, 1997 Saab, Swedish car, hard as bricks, solid as steel, don't want to hit one of those. <coughs> and uh, anyway, that's my, all my trouble, so I got on the bus and came back. Now I got on the bus, everywhere I go on the bus, and a bit of walking, all, all my gear on. You know, I have bags, computers, books, clothes, <coughs> all, all on my back. Just while I go to the gym, I can carry the whole lot because I carried everything, took it all out of the car, put it in two bags and battery charger and <coughs> toolbox, toolbox, and I was carrying all that at the bus stop when I got to Manukau City, to the other bus stop way, way the hell down on Ronwood Avenue, <coughs> changed all the buses around, <coughs> and uh, lugged all that stuff in the bus. You see, so I'm going to lug it all back in the bus again, but this time I've got a longer walk from here to the bus station, here. And then when I get off the other, I'm going to have another walk to the bus going north, the Mana bus. Get off one bus and the other bus with all this luck. Normally I put them in the car, but however, that's the way it goes. Anyway, back on the subject. That's my little troubles, but however, I keep fit, keep walking, put a big load on my head. I push weights in the uh, gym just as well. Otherwise, I'll, uh, I'll collapse. Now, I'm getting the, all the heart, heart equipment for here, finger, wrist, arm, so I can read, read, read and keep track of it. And uh, in the gym and walking around and eating, especially eating on the table, I can see them going, and like, oops, don't eat that one. And so they eat it. Up it goes. Up. Or oh, at a meeting. I watch this, 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 at a meeting. And up she goes. You see? The tension in here. <coughs> I had a clearance from here down, a scan, I, uh, CT scans or whatever, for the uh, arteries and the heart. Perfect. From here, I said, I want to I scan from here. They said, oh, can't do that. I said, no, just put it up there and see what's... No, no, we can't do that. See? Okay. If it was my own doctor, I would say, stick it over here. You'll find the problem that I've been trying to tell them for a long time. It's the blood going to the brain that's the problem. See? Not enough for this sort of work. And it was restricted, restricted, blocked, blocked over there from road accidents and football and loud noise and all those industry things. <coughs> and uh, it's just proved that the doctors are going to put a pacemaker in me and switch me on and off and probably kill me and, and, and put it in for nothing because they were blaming my heart all the time. And there they are, their own people checked it out, clear. Nothing wrong with my heart. It's beating. Just going do do do. Not do 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 like that. You see? They said, oh, it's, it's perfect. Clear. I said, oh, is that right? Now do this one. <coughs> see, but I have to go back to the doctor to get a um, um, 
certificate so that they can check this bit. And then when I show the doctor, I says, I've been trying to tell you for ages, and you're going to tell me to cut my heart, cut my thing open and put a heart thing in it. You see, it's the doctors, I'm going to get them for that, and I'm going to make them pay for that, for, for wrongful judgment on me, and making me suffer with the, all these medication, all these drugs. The turn, turn, I throw the, I throw the damn things out, look, I, it's still in the packet. Right? $67 a time, so $62 a time, to, to keep sucking on this lot <coughs> and the rubbish. You see, you better to go and push the weights and keep the monitors on. Simple. 60 bucks for these monitors, digital from China, and I've got to check it with my nurses once to see if they match up. And if it's out a, a bit, at least I've got something that I know, calibrated, will match up with hers. Okay? So that's, that's really what uh, I'm back on the subject. <coughs> so I go up tomorrow and uh, go across to uh, Kaikahi and uh, have a meeting there on the 6th. <coughs> then I stay there till the <coughs> 9th, about 10th. Go to Waitangi, Titi Marae. Stay in the Marae for two days. Then stay there one more night if the Marae is not open on the 11th at night time, it'll be shut. Then I'll go and batch up with someone there, or I hope Carla let me go and batch up in the, on the floor, by the floor, <coughs> and then catch the bus back to Auckland at midday, get back to Auckland at half past four, catch the bus again to Odahu, come back over here, sit down and scratch my head and say, now what? See? <coughs> Accumulation of 20 years of waiting around for this moment. It's like waiting for a skyrocket to go come go, go up and come down with something something from Mars. Right? That's what it feels like. It feels like the earth are gonna uh, the, the sky's gonna open up and all the bed fries out and gets consumed by the sun, eating up all the fraud and all those things off the lake, chuck it off <coughs> and have nice clean air nice clean water and chuck all these GMOs off, all these chemtrails and all this shaking the earth and flooding people out. That's on line now. The the patents of, of shaking changing the, the climate change things, <coughs> genetically modified the weather, is now criminal. Now we're gonna go after them with this flag authority and this stamp and stamp their heads ready for Mars to exit them, bang on their head and strip them of all their wealth and boot them off to the next ship to Mars. They're going to use them for fodder on the way. They'll melt by the time they get there. Right? Into little, little, little stars. <coughs> right? And get consumed by other stars waiting for them. You see? There's a Moai story, by the way. I'm just telling a little bit of it to mucky mucky planet out there at the end of the universe, right? So anyway, we goes up and has the meeting um, at Titi Marai on the 10th and 11th, <coughs> and that's where um, I'll be um, um, authorised by the Paramount Chiefs and the tribes to go to Westminster Magistrate Court and to Westminster Government, Parliament, to represent the natives here and the people of New Zealand and Pacific Islands with this authority, boom, contract, in a contract sense. It's still going to be a contract for a while until the contractors on the other end gets rid of it. No one can touch the King's contract, no one, except us. We're the only private organisation in the world with a King's flag to null its partnership, ship of Admiralty. And stamp them both to end the contract relationship. But we're going to check the books first. We're going to order the books. That's what Bundy's forced to do, to open the council's books, the municipalities, the eight points of the size of St. Patrick. We're claiming, I'm claiming as a surrogate to speak for St. Patrick, through King William III and King <coughs> 
uh, King William III and uh, um, King, um, no, hang on, uh, King William III created the Bank of England Act and the um, Pound Note, okay? And King William IV <coughs> took it and commercialised it. So we have the chain of events. We have the follow the ship. We have the line of descent of Crown corporations under the king, the creator of these corporations. Okay, we will we'll get rid of all the other people abusing the martial law with this flag. Anybody but martial law will axe them off and null them all. Okay, one shot. There will be no more wars because this flag is causing all the bank wars in the world to make money. <coughs> okay, so we'll recover all the debts from one piece of land to the rest of the land as well. Uh, so we have the hui, or the meeting of, of the chiefs, the chiefs and the paramount chiefs and the hapu and whanau. Uh, and I make it notice, I put a public notice of, of Jonki and those offenders into the Auckland Native Magistrate Court. The Moai Crown, King William IV, Trust is the creditor in Auckland, straight to Britain, <coughs> combined partnership. Right? King William IV being the partner to Maui Crown, which is the Paramount Chiefs, and all the natives in that world. <coughs> See, we represent through the king's conquering of lands through the world, back to King Solomon mines, through William the Conqueror to King William IV. That good line of unbroken sovereignty to our own sovereignty is the crown land patents of the well and Maui memorial to the well. Earth crown on the head. Right? The Maui crown land patent <coughs> discovery title and the King William IV discovery titles are lethal weapons of mass martial law state of emergency to seize all the titles of all the fraudulent countries who have broken this law. Okay? Broken this law. Now that the chiefs have woken up from their slumber of 183 years, they are now in commercial trading operation business as commercial land owners of New Zealand. With the stamp. Okay? You got something better than that? Show me and these chiefs. If you haven't got one, you never did have it. And that's been proven in the High Court, the District Court, Auckland District Court, against me, the Crown Corporations, CRB, Criminal Investigation Bureau, Police, <coughs> landowners, the judges, the lawyers, the barristers, the government ministers of their Crown, New Zealand Crown, Queen lost the case against me with that authority and this flag. <coughs> My word against yours. All silent. No one says a thing. There's an admission of guilt. Default contract. Default contract. When you get this on your name, you're defaulted. John Key's been defaulted enough times. The landowners have been defaulted more than three times, personally.